Hey there, friends and frenemies. <laughs> I haven't said that for a while. Uh, how you doing out there? Thanks for joining us today for this live stream. Uh, we are here in the studio. Uh, this is my second live stream video. If you haven't seen my first live stream video I did a couple months ago, I made this pretty swag white claw hat here, cowboy hat out of uh, white claw boxes. So after this stream, if you want to go check that out, uh, it's a good it's a good watch it's a good it's good uh build along uh, but in this video we are going to be continuing our gravel bike upgrade series with the retrospect harper which is that guy right there um, i put that thing through a series of upgrades um uh tires blah 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 blah, blah lots of stuff um, i put a link to that playlist in the description of this video so at your leisure go check that out and see all the cool things i did to this bike um, thank you thank you for 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 watching the video so much um, it's gotten the attention of retrospect and they've reached out to me and we're in we're doing collaborations now so and speaking of retrospect collaborations you can see in the lower corner here of the video uh, my jacks rev um, I recently just got that from Retrospect and did a unboxing and a walkthrough video showing all of the features and functionalities of that bike. So if you guys want to talk about that or have any questions about that bike, please shoot away. Um, I'm super um, sorry if there's a massive lag between when you write a comment and uh, when it shows up. It seems like um, there's a 10, 10 or 12 15 second lag uh, between us so I apologize so work with me there um, but in this video let's get to it we're gonna be installing the Shimano caliper brake this is BRR451 and the first brake set I bought actually didn't fit so I had to send it back it was much too small so hopefully this one works hopefully I have all the tools and the parts that I need I've got a um, I've got a brake handle here that I got on Amazon. I got brake brake lines, and this is a whoa sliding out. This is a front and rear brake line, so we'll just be using the front brake line tonight. Hopefully, it it fits and works out for us. Uh, what else do I got? Ooh, I got some orange matchy matchy uh, brake pads. I got these uh, thinking that they might keep my fancy orange rims orange. Um, if I were to use the black pads, it would probably turn the rims black in two seconds. So I'm hoping, maybe fruitlessly, that the orange brake pads will keep my rims orange. Who knows? We'll see. Um, and why not? I just threw these on in the cart too. They're like, they're little slips that go over the um, the brake lever, just to just to make it all matchy matchy, cool looking. So we'll try those out. All right, let's take this thing out of the box and see what we're working with. There's some mounting hardware here. We probably want to keep track of. And then here's the brake unit itself. Just let me know if you guys can hear me. Hopefully everything's uh, streaming smoothly. Just give me a little, yeah, we got you, thumbs up. Sounds great when you get a chance. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start uh, trying to put this thing on. I've got another camera angle here set up. I can switch to just like pow that and this thing comes with a couple of different uh, you know links oh I gotta remember to take my microphone with me sorry I couldn't get the wireless microphone to work uh, with the streaming setup I, I have so we're doing wired mics today so I gotta kind of move around with it Hopefully I can get away with this small, the smallest one. So we'll just put
put in here like so. And from the back side, to start to thread on the hardware. All right. So far, so good. Seems to be fitting. Then we're going to want to center this as best we can on here. All right. I mean, we can probably always go back and adjust as needed. But for now, that should probably work. And because I have the Shimano Nexus 3-speed hub system on this side of the handlebars, I'm probably going to put probably going to put my brake lever on this side because there is, really isn't anything over there yet besides the bell, which you just heard. So let's go ahead and remove my bull horns. And we're going to have to take these handle grips off. I was trying to go back in my comments and see who gave me a tip for getting off handle grips, uh, but I couldn't find it. But what he suggested what he suggested is to use canned air to shoot up in there. I don't know if that's working. Probably work a little bit better if I had the, the straw that goes with it, but I don't. So we'll just have to do it the old fashioned way, which is pretty much just rip it, rip it off with brute force. It's off. Hopefully that's the trickiest part of the install. And uh, I may just put that back on at a later time so I don't bore you to death. So let's go ahead and put on our brake lever. Now I'm going to have to slide everything a little bit. a little bit to accommodate or I'm going to have to trim the grips which I really don't want to do. Hopefully we can just slide it down a little bit. So we'll just tighten that down like that. All right, and now we have a lever. Hello, thanks for coming, thanks for joining me today for this live stream. We are installing a caliper brake on the Retrospect Harper. I just got the brake unit screwed on and I just bolted on the brake lever onto the handlebars there. So hopefully it's all coming along and hopefully uh, you can hear me. Please let me know in the comments if you can hear me. Thank you. All right, let's try to put this brake line on. Switch cameras.
the brake lever has a little slot and the brake line has this, you can see it, it has an, um, a little cylinder on the end and the slot on the brake lever matches the cylinder. So that just slides in there. And I can tell we're going to need to unscrew this real quick off of the brake lever. We'll thread the brake line through this and then we can go back into the sleeve. Oh, this thing is greased. I was wondering if I was gonna have to grease it. But she be greased. I'm getting grease all over the place. All right, and this is our brake adjustment. After we get it installed, we'll try doing some uh, adjustments with that. And as far as I know, this goes straight down into here. like so. And then we have one point here. We need to loosen this up and tighten it down so that it can grab onto the cable. So I've got the, I've got it up, loosened up. Let's see, is there a hole in the middle of this thing for the cable? I don't see a hole, but there is a little bit of a notch. I think that's for the cable itself. So that's hand tight. Let's see if we can get that tighter with a wrench. Just want to check in with you guys. Thanks again for uh, joining and watching. Um, I just got the brake line put on. This is actually going much faster and smoother than I could have anticipated. <laughs> So if you have any questions about the Harper, about the upgrades I did, please put them in the comments there. If you have any questions about the Jax Rev e-bike, I'd be happy to talk about that too. Put those in the comments there too. Uh, but I'm just gonna keep going with this install and I think we're, unless I hit some kind of speed bump, we're pretty close to, to getting this thing functional. So I'm just tightening the tightening that down. Look at that. We have a front brake. Now I should be able to actually I'm going to loosen this a little bit back up. I'm going to squeeze the brake just a little bit. Actually I'm not. Let's put that back. Tighten that back down. We can use the brake adjustments to get this thing adjusted so that it's hitting the rim just correct, just right. Let's loosen this back up. Give it a nice tug and tighten this back down. All right, we're getting closer. Uh, to make an adjustment, we can just Oops, I forgot to change my camera back. To make an adjustment, we just got to loosen this ring right here on the, the lever. And then that will allow us to lengthen the adjustment. Let me grab a pair of pliers. This might be a little easier with a pair of pliers. Right, we're 
we're getting closer. We'll stop there for now, tighten that back down. And before we finish this thing off completely, let's see if we can get these uh, orange brake pads installed. Like pretty much everything on the bike, it, oh, this isn't the right hex. We need a smaller hex. Let's see if this one works. Bingo. Don't lose any of these pieces. So these brake pads, they have a little bit of a curve to them. So we're going to want to make sure that the curve follows the curve of the rim. Loosen up the hardware here. And switching. Switching back to my other wrench. Tighten the pad down. Just like that. And I can tell that I need to move it down a little bit because of the angle. When you squeeze the brake, it kind of goes slightly upward a little bit. So you want the pad to be a little lower. There, that should be good. And just make sure it's nice and tight. All right, now let's do the other side. Hello, thanks for joining us. We are currently about 75% of the way through installing our caliper or rim brake on the Retrospect Harper. I got it uh, pretty much all the way there. I'm putting on my fancy matching orange brake pads right now. So switch back to the other camera. Loosen up this one. I got these orange pads hoping that it will keep my brake rims from turning black or my, 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 uh, my rims from turning black. So we'll see. It'll probably last about five minutes and then the, the paint will come off or something. But we tried. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to hold on to these black pads just in case I need them at some point in the future. Always smart to hold on to stuff just in case you might need it later. I dropped one washer. Let's see if I can find it. E um. Oh, here it is. Let's back this out real quick. Put that last washer on. And we can put it back down. Hello, welcome. Thanks for coming. I'm about, uh, I don't know, 80% of the way through my brake installation here. 
I'm just putting on the fancy smancy, fancy schmancy orange brake pads that match my orange accents on the bike. So we got those on. Uh, let me see here. Loosen this up. Tighten this back down. And then there's a there's a switch on this thing. If you flip it down, I think it kind of engages it. Yeah. Oh, we have breakage, but it's grabbing at the very, at the very end of the, of the travel. So let's loosen this. See if we can pull this a bit tighter. All right, that's tighter. We'll flip it down. All right, now we're in business. That's looking and feeling really good. Thank you for joining us. I'm about 90% of the way done getting my brake installed on the Retrospec Harper. Everything's gone very smooth. I've been impressed. We got the orange brake pads on there. Everything seems to be fitting. We may have to do a little bit more adjusting later on. Um, but let's take a look at, let's take a look at these. These are the little cheap little handle covers that I got and I, they're just a couple bucks. So I threw them in the, the cart there and I think these things, I think we can like trim them to any needed size because this little brake lever is a little bit on the short side. So I'm going to try to trim these down a little bit with a pair of scissors. That seemed to work. Now we got a shorty. So we'll try slipping this on. See what it looks like. So it just goes right on the lever right there. And it just gives you kind of a little bit of grip. And it, you know, colors, color coordinated adds a little flare to it and it keeps your hand your hands from slipping off a little bit added grip while you're bombing down the mountain speaking of bombing down the mountain this uh harper this is called the um uh, retrospect harper coaster uh single speed and the coaster is uh, talks is about the uh, coaster brake. Uh, they have they do have a model that has uh, rim brakes. Uh, I think they have a different name. It's it's Harper, but it comes with um, rim brakes and stuff like that. the The coaster was the um, more inexpensive model, and I was going for total budget when I put this bike together. So I wanted the least expensive that I could find. I figured at the time, man, the coaster brake is probably good for what I need. But after I've ridden it for a while, after I've taken it off road, after I've cruised it to work, gone down some big hills and needed to brake all the way down the hill, I started getting nervous about the coaster brake. Um, I, I didn't have any issues with it yet, but I want to be preventative and I don't want to, I don't want to have an issue. So I went ahead and decided I wanted to add a front brake to the bike to take a little bit of 
the reliance on the rear brake, the, uh, co the uh, coaster brake. So this is gonna, this is like mostly for peace of mind here. This is gonna help, help me feel a little bit better about um, taking hills faster and knowing that I'm gonna be able to stop when I need to stop. Um, so if you don't wanna mess with the hub brake and adding another brake, there is a model of the Harper that comes with rim brakes. Just go with that one and you probably will be fine. Um, in retrospect, maybe I, oh, in retrospect. <laughs> I probably should have just gotten the one with the rim brakes uh, anyways, and but whatever. I love this bike. I enjoy it. I have a great time on it. It does everything I needed to do and nothing more. Um, it's just, it's treated me very well. Uh, I love all of the additions I did to it. I get a lot of compliments. Uh, you got these guys with full suspension bikes, you know, off-road, and here I come, zero suspension, um, just like... It almost looks like a single speed on the trail and they're like is that thing a single speed and i'm like no it's actually got three speeds but uh, it was a single speed at one time um, they're just like floored that i'm riding this thing on the trail so it is a conversation starter it is kind of a cool uh little bike i love it and i love my little bell all right um cool if you guys have any questions about the, the, the bike itself, the upgrades I've done, the brake system we've just put on. I was originally gonna uh, add a front disc brake, but after I did a little bit of research, I found out that you need special mounting points on the forks, and I didn't wanna go through the whole hassle of like replacing the forks and doing all that. So I just, I just said rim brakes for me. And so far, it seems to work out great. Uh, I'm going to give these things a test run, make sure they function and they help me slow down. But other than that, I couldn't be happier with how this turned out. Um, yeah, you guys got any questions for me? Any uh, comments? I'm just moving right through this, this video. I don't know if you noticed, but I actually had to remove my front fender to fit the brake in here and I was I'm hoping that at some point I can wedge it back in there I may have to do some some fancy trimming to get it to to work with the brake or maybe cut it off so that it doesn't interfere with the brake so hopefully I can get my fender put back on because I don't want to get sprayed with rain when I ride all up in the face but that pretty much does it for the for Yeah, thanks for joining me this evening. Thanks for uh, all the comments and likes and views that, the, that I've been getting on the bike. And please uh, keep them coming. It's just, uh, it motivates me to do more and, sh and, and show you guys more stuff about the bike and how to do it. I've thoroughly enjoyed myself, and um, I look forward to what else I can do. If you have some suggestions of what you want to me to do to this bike next, please let me know, um, and I can try and make that happen. I think I'm going to end the stream now and sign off. If you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much again for watching this uh, live stream video. Um, if you have any questions or comments, you can always leave them uh, below. I'll come back and, and answer everything. Um, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And we will see you next time.